We did it two nights in a row. Yay. So tonight though, we're going to switch things up a little bit. We've been talking about animal families, birds and reptiles and amphibians and invertebrates like insects and arachnids and diplopods and looking at what makes them special, their, their cool characteristics. And that's been really fun to do, but I, yeah, it has, it has, it really has, <laughs> but I figured we'd move on and we're going to talk about habitats, habitats and what animals need in a habitat to help them survive, to help them stay safe and healthy and grow. So we're going to begin today by doing just that, talking, of, yes, I know, talking about the four things that all animals need in their habitat. What habitats have that make them special? And then, then we're gonna read a story. I brought two and I'll show you what they are. The first kind of gives away the animals we're gonna see today. I have Sunday and I brought two others. We're gonna bring back some encore guests are all from a rainforest habitat. So think on that a little bit. What's in a rainforest habitat? What, what may they all share? in a rainforest habitat. And so I brought a book that's one of my favorites, The Umbrella by Jan Brett. And it's certainly about a rainforest. So I was, I was thinking about this book. So I'm not sure, not sure. But then the other one I also have is Secrets of the Vegetable Garden. It's another Shine the Light book. Now, not a rainforest, so it's kind of kind of an odd tie-in, but it's it's a cool habitat that you might have right near you that you can utilize to kind of remember what makes habitat special. <laughs> so I'm going to think on those books and, and we'll work it out. But in the meantime, what makes a habitat special? Let's see. Four things. All habitats and all animals need food. Yes. All animals need food to survive, to eat, and grow and stay healthy. Here's a picture of some cool lettuce. Now, some of my animals like lettuce. Um, my iguana likes to eat a lot of lettuce. Some, sometimes Sunday likes to eat some greens and, and fruits and veggies. Um, and the beetles, the death veining beetles like salad. And remember the cockroach? That also liked salad too. They like salad. So all animals need food. What else? All animals need water. All animals need water. We have two animals today that are definitely going to need some water. Hey, hey, let's see. What if Sunday sometimes likes to take a shower with me? Let's see. What is Sunday? Whoa, what do you think? Oh, what do you think? No. Oh, shake it off. So all animals need food. All animals need water. What else? All animals need shelter. Yeah, they need a home, they need a place to sleep and a place to stay safe and protected. Look at this shelter, this is a cave. What might be in a cave? I was in a cave not too long ago and I saw a bat in the cave and there might be snakes in a cave. What else? The caves are pretty cool and caves are great because it's a place you can stay safe, you can stay protected from the weather like rain or maybe snow or maybe it's too hot, maybe even if it's too cold. A cave is a nice shelter, a nice home. So, food, water, shelter. There's one more. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. It's space. Space? Hmm. What do you think? Look at that. So, animals need a space. A space to find all their food or their shelter or their water. A space that is right for them. Like maybe a rainforest. Yeah, rainforest habitat is the space for Sunday. And the space for our other two animals we're gonna see today, because it has what they need. It's the right temperature. It's got the right foods that they like. Now here's another way to help understand space. Think of it as kind of size, right? Does it right fit? Now this is kind of a travel habitat for some of the other animals we're going to see today. See that? Now, let me hold that next to Sunday. Look. What do you think, Sunday? 
That's, that's just about the same size as Sunday. Would that be a good place for Sunday to live? Would that be a good habitat for her to live in? Would she fit in it? I don't know. Let's see. Let's hold it up to her again. Let's see. Would she fit in it? She's like, I don't think so. Yeah, because she needs space. She needs to have space to move. Let's see if she'll let me do it. She needs space to flap her wings. She needs space. And that's just, that's just not going to cut it. No, it's not. So let's say one more time and then we'll read some of the story. Animals. And habitats have food. Animals need food in their habitats. They need water. Habitats have water. They need shelter. And they need space. What do you think? Food, water, shelter, space. Food, water, shelter, space. Food, water, shelter, space. Food, no. Okay, cool. Whatever. Okay, so let's read. So not a rainforest, but I figured, again, a garden's a great place for you to go and see kind of a mini habitat. So yesterday, remember we saw the diplopods, the millipedes? Yeah, you might be able to go out and flip a log and that's their whole habitat. That's where they find their food, the rotting log, their water from the moisture underneath. That's their shelter and it's also their space. So that's their little habitat. You might also see those little pill bugs that I talked about, those roly polies. Um, the tiny death fainting beetles that we saw, they're not going to be out in your vegetable garden, but they're in like a tiny little habitat. Yeah. So just in a vegetable garden, you're going to find those four things. And I challenge you, I invite you to go look for those. And even if it's not a vegetable garden, they'll still have food, water, shelter, space. So let's get ready for Secrets of the Vegetable Garden by Karen Brown and, oh, switching it up, Giordano Poloni. Hmm. Okay, let's see. You ready? A vegetable garden grows under the sun. If you look closely between the stalks, beneath the leaves, and in the soil, you will see the animals and plants living there. Here we go. The seed, you are going to eat my book, aren't you? Please do not. The seed of a tomato plant has been sown in soil in a pot. When it has grown into a seedling, it will be planted outside. What are three things? What three things does the seed need to grow? Let's get ready to flashlight. Let's see. Whoa, what's that? What's this right here? Is that one of the things? The sun, yeah. Sun is also great in a habitat, although not all animals always need it. The energy from the sun certainly helps. Certainly helps our ectothermic little friends, right? Like the amphibians and the reptiles. But there's some animals that are nocturnal, come out at night, and some that live in caves all the time. But the sun is another great thing. Sun, let's see. What's this? Oh, oh, what's that? What's that gonna do? Is that a watering can? Water, water, even plants need water. Here we go. Splish, splash, sploosh. The seeds need water, warmth, and soil. Yeah, soil like dirt. Some animals, that's where they get their food and nutrients. They need soil to grow. Squawk! Birds eating seeds planted in the garden take to the air. Why are they flying there? Let's see. Hmm, what do you think happened? What do you think? Uh-oh, who's that? What is that right there? What do you see? A scarecrow stands tall in the garden. It looks like a person, which scares the birds away from the seeds. <laughs> you stop eating my book. You were much better when you were hanging out on my knee. The tomato plant's roots grow strong under the soil. Wait, stop it. Which creatures are in the soil? That's not that many habitat. Who's in the soil? Who do you think? Who do you, oh, I see the roots. I see the roots. Who's, oh, oh, who's that? 
Sunday's cure. Oh, there's another one. Who's that? That's a great habitat under the soil. Worms break down leaves and pieces of dead plants. This makes food for growing plants. Food! Food's a great thing in a habitat. Food, water, shelter, space. Food, water, shelter, space. Food. Nope. Okay. Let's see. Maybe one or two more pages. Looking at the gem. Looking at the gem. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. Let's do that. Two more. Rabbits like to eat the weeds that grow in the garden. The gardener pulls the weeds out because the vegetables need space. They need space. What? I'm kind of glad I picked this book. Space to grow. Yeah, because if they were really crowded, they wouldn't have room. They wouldn't have room for their roots. Uh, they wouldn't have room for their leaves. They wouldn't have room to get the sun. And a plant, their food is the sun. So food, water, shelter, space. I'm so glad I picked this book. Okay. Can you see the gardener's tools? What? Tools? What kind of tools might you use? Man, if I was outside looking in a vegetable garden habitat, my tools would be a magnifying glass and a bug catcher, remember from last night? Oh, there's some tools. This is working really well today. What do you think? Whoa, look at that. Oh. The gardener keeps tools in the shed. There's a spade for digging, a trowel for planting, a watering can for watering, and a rake for smoothing soil. Okay, last page, ready? New leaves on the tomato plant reach up towards the sun. Who is sheltering under the leaves? I wonder. I'll tell you a secret, we can tie this in with the rainforest. In the rainforest, the forest floor with all of the leaves from all of the trees and plants in the rainforest is a great habitat. In fact, two of the animals we're going to see, that's a great place for them under the leaves. Okay, Whew, tied it in. We did it. Let's say who's hiding under these leaves. <gasps> What's that? I see, I see spots. Oh, oh. who is that? What do you think? Two ladybugs, insects, have flown to the green leaves. They are spotted beetles with wings. Yay! So we'll, we'll stop here and we'll finish the rest at another point. Oh, it's getting good too. Oh, habitats. Habitats are cool whether they're in your yard or whether it's something fancy like a rainforest. So, rainforest, huh? What do habitats need again? Even rainforest habitats. They need food. They need water. They, you gonna do it? Come on. They need shelter. They need space. Food, water, shelter, space. We saw some of the things in the vegetable garden book and I'm sure you can find them outside in a garden near you or just outside somewhere. Yeah, even sometimes between the cracks of a sidewalk, you'd be surprised what kind of animals might use that as a habitat, maybe like an ant. So today I just, I found three of my favorite animals. I just, I couldn't resist. Um, and they're all from a rainforest habitat. So of course we have Sunday. Sunday was our friend, the Goffin Cock. Are you gonna step up on my head there? That's helpful, thank you, I appreciate it. This is Sunday the Gothen Cockatoo, and Sunday lives in the rainforest. Remember at first I made a mistake and I said Australia, because a lot of cockatoos are from Australia, but Sunday is not. Sunday is from some smaller islands, much closer to Australia, but not quite in Australia. But she lives um, either right in the rainforest habitat or right on the edge of a rainforest habitat and loves to fly from tree to tree and eat lots of fruits and nuts. So Sunday is from Oh, hi. You tried to step off too soon. Sunday is from the rainforest where she's going to find her food. She's going to find her shelter. She's going to find her space. She's going to find her water. Yeah. So I'm going to keep Sunday out because she's just a clown and, you know, she loves the attention. Yes, you do. It's just. Okay. But you're going to have to go on my knee though, baby. Because. I'm going to bring out some other, who else do you think you remember that might be from the rainforest? Let's see. Um, secret. The next animal, one of my favorites. Uh, I brought some food. Maybe we can feed him on camera. 
So I'm gonna, I'll show you the food first. I'm gonna feed the next animal little mealworms, which believe it or not, hard to see, but this is an insect because it actually has six little legs and three little body parts. This whole back part is actually all one big abdomen. And this is actually a baby, kind of like a caterpillar, a larva. And he's gonna go into a pupa, like a cocoonish thing, and change into a beetle. A beetle that looks a lot like the death painting beetles. Yeah, so this guy is a baby beetle. But right now it's called a mealworm. And so he's actually food. So we're gonna see if our, our next visitor will, will eat him. Actually, I wonder if Sunday will. Sometimes it's, you want to eat it? No, she's like, no, no, I'm good, we're good. All right, so let's see, I'm gonna lean over. Hopefully Sunday stays still and grab. Oh, you ready? Who do you think it is? Do you think you know? Think about rainforest. Couldn't resist. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> it's, it's oh, not very happy with me. Too many days in a row, perhaps, so we won't bring him out long. It's Palpatine. It's Palpatine. Oh, Palpy is very not happy with me right now. And I got to keep Palpy somewhat away from the bird. So Palpatine is the Emperor Scorpion from the rainforest. And that's why in her habitat, I keep it nice and wet. I spray her down a lot. She's got a little water dish. But you want to see if she'll eat so we can give her her food. She loves bugs. So where did that mealworm go? Oh, there's one. Nope. Yeah, got him. Nope. Almost got him. Nope. Don't got him. Let's see. Oh man, tricky, tricky. Got it. No! Oh, I don't want to have to make a mess and dump these all out. Oh, almost had one. This is trickier than I thought with one hand. All right, I got two. Good. Okay, great. So let's see if Palpy will eat for us. So I'm going to hold it right in front of Palpy's exo or pedipalps and we'll see if Palpy will eat it. She's like, no, thank you. Not hungry. No, thank you. You fed me the other day. Oh, nope, nope, nope. No, let's try, let's try another one here. Let's try switching hands. Maybe I'll have better luck. Let's see. Yeah, maybe. Nope. Not hungry. You're making me look bad on camera, Palpy. Oh, she's not interested. She's look, she's completely closed up her pedipalps. She's like, please do not feed me right now. I ate the other day. So, Palpatine from the rainforest habitat where she would eat lots of food like insects and other little invertebrates. She would get her lots of her moisture and her water from the leaves and the forest floor and all the rain. And yeah, would probably hide in like a little burrow or a little hole that they dug down. Yeah, so this is Palpatine from the rainforest. And I don't have enough hands, unfortunately, to do, oh, maybe I do, to do our favorite, to shine the light on Palpy. Palpatine. Palpatine needs his own show. This should be just the Palpatine show. You want to try one more time to eat so you don't make me look totally crazy? Oh, I can't dig him. Oh, well. All right. So we'll put Palpy away. All right. Say bye, Palpy. Bye, rainforest scorpion. Okay. So. We saw Sunday, the Gotham cockatoo from the rainforest. We saw the Emperor Scorpion from the rainforest. Let me brush off all the dirt from the bugs. And so our last animal I'm gonna need some of the water for before we say goodnight. I'm also looking at the time. Oh, Sunday's getting a bath down here too. We saw these guys before too. These guys are also from the rainforest. 
and they need it to be nice and wet. They love it to be nice and wet. In fact, sometimes they find their water in the cups of little flowers and leaves. And sometimes the daddy, when the babies are born, they're called tadpoles, the daddy will like put them on his back and hop to the next pool of water in a, in a leaf or a flower so that the baby stays nice and wet and safe. Yeah, it's kind of like their shelter maybe, maybe a little flower, a little leaf. So let's see if I can find them. Probably only gonna bring out one because they're also very challenging to catch. But I almost, nope, don't got one. Nope, don't got one still. He's hiding all over. Nope. And nope. And nope. And got him! <laughs> Okay, you ready? So, my hand's nice and wet. <gasps> dart frog! Dart frog! So this is my poison dart frog, my Oyapok poison dart frog. From the rainforest! There he is, there he is. Let's see if I can get a zoom. Nope, don't got it. There he is. And he was just eating too. I had a lot of little flies in there for him. So, from the rainforest habitat and the rainforest is where they're going to find their food like little bugs. And actually, remember I said in the rainforest, they would eat like little ants that would have actually kind of a poison to them. So then they would become dangerous. They would become poisonous little frogs. There he is. Oh, I'm afraid he's going to jump. So they get their food and all their water and their shelter and all the little There he is. He's looking right at you. He's like, what are you doing? Stick him back. Oh, he's so handsome. Look at him. So handsome. So I'm going to stick him back carefully. And I think we'll say goodbye with Sunday. Sorry, buddy. All right, go back and eat your flies. So we saw three cool rainforest habitat animals. And what did they need? Sunday, maybe you can dance with us. Ready? Habitats, habitats, food, food, food. Nope, this is going to be a terrible song. I don't really have a tune to it. Habitats have food. Habitats have water. Habitats. Habitats. Habitats have water. Habitats have shelter. Habitats have space. Maybe that's the way we do it. Food. Water. No, it's terrible too. We'll come up with something. Food. Water. Shelter. Space. Food. Water. Shelter. Space. Food. Water. Shelter. Space. Okay, you ready? We'll say good night tonight to Sunday. Ready? You want to come up, baby? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do any dancing? What do you think? What do you think? You want to say goodbye? Okay. Say, bye Sunday. Bye Sunday. Say good night, everyone. You got You're not looking at me. You're looking over here. I know. It's just an inanimate object. I know. Hi. 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 Hey, say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Let's turn you. Maybe. Okay. Ready? Good night, Sunday. Good night. Oh, whatever. We're, we're all tired. She's going to do it. She'll start as soon as I turn it off. That's what will happen. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye.